Welcome back to another edition of Daytime Corks and Spirits presented by Georgetown Square Wine and Liquors. Steve, thanks so much for having me back here. Well, thank you again, Chelsea, for coming back. Today I have a wonderful story of an up and coming winery with a beautiful, beautiful story behind it. And this is Stephen Klein. Stephen, welcome. Nice to meet you. Uh, tell us a little bit about your wine. We are Dow Vineyards and we are located in Paso Robles, California. Um, Paso Robles is in the central coast of California. So it's kind of, the region is a huge wine producing region. It's uh, dead center between Los Angeles and San Francisco. So that's, that's where we are in, in California. Yeah, let's get into who you are. So we are Dow Vineyards. So the name Dow is the family name of the two brothers, co-founders, proprietors, winemaker George and Daniel Dow. Um, their story is a little bit interesting. They actually grew up in Beirut, Lebanon. Um, and then as kids, when they were little kids, they were um, seven and 10 years old. Uh, one of the first bombs that landed during the Civil War in Beirut landed in their front yard. Um, the two brothers had been playing outside that day and they were severely injured. Um, the older brother, George, was in a coma for many months and Danny to this day still has shrapnel on his body. So at that point, after all of this happened, their, their parents decided to move the family out of Lebanon and they moved to France and they, they went to school, high school in Paris. Uh, George, who's the older brother, decided after high school that he was going to make his way to the United States and ended up going to college in California at the University of San Diego. Um, his brother Danny followed him over a couple years after that. Um, they graduated a few years apart with really no money in their pocket at all. It was right when tech was becoming online, so the two brothers decided to start a tech company called Dow Systems. They had this company, they, seven years later they went public and then they sold the company and they retired in the early 30s. Like most tech people, they became winemakers <laughs> in California. Well, right, so, but they were living in San Diego um, and retired. But Danny, the younger brother, loved wine. He was a collector, so he decided he wanted to learn how to make wine. Came back to California and said to his brother, let's get in the wine business. So we ended up in Paso Robles, not in Napa and not in Sonoma, because we have the same soil types, which is very important to making wine, that they do in Bordeaux. It's all calcareous clay limestone. That's how we ended up in Paso. That was in um, 2007. And, so, and because of that soil, that shows up in all your wines. It shows up in all our wines. You, what that soil gives you is great acidity, mm -hmm. uh, which is, is hard to get. If you've ever had a Cabernet and it scratches the back of your throat, that's because mm -hmm. that's the winemakers given, put tartaric acid to it. So okay. anything you add, anytime you add anything to wine. So we have this great climate. We're way up in the mountains. We're 2,200 feet up in the mountains, about 15 miles from the ocean. Oh, wow. So really a gorgeous... Uh, we're at the highest elevation on the central coast. Cool evenings. Very cool. It, well, Paso is known, it's got the largest uh, durinal temperature swings in the United States. So during this time of year, it can be 100 during the day, and then at night it gets down to 50. So with that, that's great for growing grapes. Okay. Well, and that leads us to the bottles That, leads, that leads us to the grapes. Yeah. All the grapes at once. <laughs> yes. So the first wine, this is uh, Bodyguard uh, Chardonnay, which is, um, I just talked about Paso Robles, Paso Robles, but this is one wine we make that's actually, we own some vineyards in Santa Barbara. So this is from Santa Barbara. It's a really wonderful Chardonnay. The name Bodyguard, uh, we have a Bodyguard Red and we have a, a Bodyguard White. So the white is Chardonnay, uh, the red is a red blend of Petit Syrah and Petit Verdot. And the name came about because um, we're very family oriented and their mother was their bodyguard, getting them out of, Get them out of, Lebanon. Out of Lebanon. So in homage to her, they created these two wines called Bodyguard. And you see it illustrated here. It's yeah, kind there's, of a, like a, there's a protecting. picture of a woman on, on, on both packages. There's a, a picture of a, a beautiful woman. So the, the, the Cabernet was their first wine. Correct. This was our first wine. Um, I, I've been with the, the two brothers since 2013. This was the wine, first wine we had and the, and the only wine we had for the first two or three years. And um, this was our, our calling card and, and today it still is our calling card. It's our largest selling wine that we produce. So we have our Cabernet, this is what we call our Discovery Cabernet. And then we also produce a wine called a Reserve Cabernet, which is a little bit different because how it's aged in oak barrels. Uh, this age, the regular Cabernet is aged about 10 months, right. and the Reserve Cab is about 22 months. And everything's in new French oak, so we literally spare no expense 
at the winery uh, in terms of how we make the wine. Um, Danny is the winemaker. It's a, it's a family affair. His daughter Lizzie's a winemaker. Their other daughter is head of social media. Um, and they have two children. One of the brothers actually planted. Yes. Right? So when they decided to get into the wine business, uh, they were living in San Diego. And Daniel had a huge house in San Diego and sold it. And he and his family moved to Paso when they bought the mountain. And they lived in a double wide. And it's Danny, a nice downsize. <laughs> <laughs> right, it was a nice neighborhood. They, they were the only ones in the neighborhood, but it was a nice neighborhood. So Danny moved his family and lived in a double wide trailer and planted the first 25 acres himself. Wow. So if you ever tried to plant an acre, it's not easy. easy. It's not easy. Well, viewers, the hard work was put into these wines. And guess what? All of these wines are right here in Williamsville at Georgetown Square Wine and Liquor. You can check it out. Yes. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank, Seven, thank, thank you, you very much for thank the you. explanation. Thank I hope you. viewers have an opportunity to purchase the wines. Prices range from $19 to $59, depending on what you want. And it's all applicable to a case discount of 21%. And come visit us in Paso. We, <laughs> yeah. we, we'd love to have you as our guest. Yeah. Cheers. A trip to Paso. <laughs> yeah. Well, for more information on Georgetown Square Wine and Liquor, you can head over to their website at gtownwine.com.